when you have such weak hands. <laughs> what? I don't understand. You're so, dude, I do have small weak hands and I'm so glad you noticed that. <laughs> James Corden took a picture with Sh Sean Spicer, and everyone was so outraged about it that this absolute, pardon my language, spoiler alert, pussy, <laughs> apologized. Watch. Some people have been disappointed by this photo. In truth, I'm disappointed by it as well. I am, I've am. i been reading uh, a lot of harsh comments on Twitter today, and I hear you loud and clear. Truly, I do. Uh, so much so, I'm really starting to regret that carpool karaoke that we've taped with Steve Bannon. <laughs> Feels like a, feels like a mistake today. Uh... Now, with, with with Corden, it doesn't really bother me because he's not even funny accidentally. Um, <laughs> so true. But whenever he's really awkward, it's like it, me. It, it, you know, I just and by the way, I would have sworn he was when I found out he had a wife. I'm like, ah, come that on, poor yeah. broad. But it always makes me really sad when I see comedians apologize. You know why? Because I know exactly what's going. It doesn't get better for you. It's not like no, it's yeah. not like a relationship. You know, a relationship where it's it's not a contract, it's a covenant. My wife and I, we were talking about this. Like, my wife can, if she were to throw my clothes out in the lawn, I, you know, I, I still love her, but I don't like that she did that, right? Yeah. There's no covenant <laughs> with right. comedians and the media. And they think there is, like, hey, if I apologize, are we going to work? No. The, the, the goal is to, con the goal now is they've achieved a battle on the way to winning this war. Dave Chappelle, I was, when he apologized for telling viewers to give Trump a chance, for telling viewers to give Trump a chance. It's not like he went up and said, hail hit. He said, hey, you know, give the man a chance. Uh, Amy Schumer apologized. I'm not an Amy Schumer fan, but I don't think she should apologize for a racist rape joke she made about Hispanics. She apologized. Tracy Morgan apologized for the anti-gay comments that he made at a Nashville show. Was so disappointed when Daniel Tosh apologized for the, mm -hmm. the, the rape joke. And a lot of this, by the way, comes from pressure from, from management. And it, the reason it's so foolish is because the left, this is important to note, um, and, and again, politics, you know, Culture is upstream from politics. The left will not stop at, if you say something really offensive, like, okay, I'll give you, let's say Daniel Tosh's rape joke, you find it really offensive. It doesn't matter, but I'll give you that for the sake of argument, right? Okay, you say, you should, but that's not what they want. Just like with DACA, it's not that they want kids to stay. They don't want us to deport people who've actually committed crimes. So they're not looking for what you think their goal is. Case in point, they want to tell you what kind of comedy you can do, period. Daily Beast writer. This article just went up. Criticized Jerry Seinfeld's latest special. Let me read this. Jerry Seinfeld's stand-up comedy is still about nothing. But should it stand for something? Jeez. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! He's Jerry Seinfeld. They, they actually use the term Perhaps woke the point. in the article. Uh, well, th thank you for telling one of the most prolific comedic writers of our generation how to do his job, Daily Beast columnist. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Seinfeld? He didn't, even do, he didn't even take a picture with Sean Spicer, which apparently is, is an actionable offense now. <laughs> He didn't even do that. He's just done what Jerry Seinfeld has always done his entire life. And I said, well, yeah, but shouldn't you maybe not that, do that? Was that maybe like a really good opportunity? Isn't that like a maybe really good opportunity? <laughs> like, yeah, like I get how you're talking about peanuts on the airline, but what about police brutality? <laughs> They get mad at you for things that you do, mm -hmm. and then they get mad at you for things that you don't do. Like Jimmy Fallon yeah. actually apologized in an interview for not being mean enough to Donald Trump. He said, I didn't mean to humanize him. Oh, so you're apologizing for not treating a president inhumanely? This is what the left wants from you? Jimmy Fallon, it wasn't like, hey, Jimmy Fallon, you made a rape joke, so you should apologize. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. it was, Jimmy Fallon, you treated Donald Trump as you treat every guest. <laughs> Don't you think you should have been mean to the guy? And he actually, he felt bad about it and he apologized. Th this is the point, if they're going to try and tell Jerry Seinfeld how he should write jokes and should quote unquote, read the Daily Beast article, maybe get woke. If they're, going to go, they're going after Jimmy Fallon, who is the most inconsequential, pandering, milk toast, spineless ass kisser, no matter who ever is on his show. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Jimmy Fallon, which is, which is good, right? Is that good? <laughs> It's great. We have an awesome show tonight. It's, we have one of the best guests ever. He's like, he's the best. I was reading his book in my bubble bath, with Justin Timberlake. And I realized I couldn't read the book because it's in Russian, which is great, right? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Justin, stop. So great. Who was the last one to clip? 
Who was the last one to clap? <laughs> it's great. I don't understand why you have so many nice things when you have such weak hands. <laughs> what? I don't understand. You're so, dude, I do have small weak hands and I'm so glad you noticed that. How great is that? He just pulled me back into his masculine world. It's so great. So tell me about uh, this thing, communism. Sounds In so- In Russian winter, a man is only what he can endure. <laughs> well, every man can have pet dog. But which of you men can eat that dog? <laughs> I mean, that's great, because like dogs, food, I mean, you must love hot dogs, right? In Russia, you have hot it's dogs? The freedom in America that you have has turned your brain to mush. It has turned your men into women like your fag Fallon. Your neighbors will look away when we take you. They always look away. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great. I mean, I, I, the best. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Joseph Stout. And, and nobody stop clapping, because he like, he kills that guy. <laughs> when when come... you get home, you'll find your wife and children are dead. <laughs> Whoa. When we come back, me and Henry Styles are going to be whacking each other off on a Ferris wheel. And then we play beer pong with Kim Jong-un. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing, you're, over, you're here, this is the end of the, so we don't care because you already watched it, but if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right. <laughs>